This list will be running down the best fights within the series. Some of them have earned their spot for pure spectacle. Others for story importance. And there's that grand few that are here just for their ridiculousness and intrigue. Prepare for spoilers below. <music> 10 Whitebeard vs. Akainu to save the captain of his second division, Whitebeard has lead an all-out assault on Firifist Ace's execution day and is charging through the battlefield himself like the human earthquake that he is. Trying to stop him is one of the more callous marines within the One Piece world, the strong believer of justice at any cost, Admiral Akainu Sakazuki, who, like other marines, believes that Ace's execution is a message to the entire pirate world that the world government stands above all else. What ensues is a fast-paced, incredibly dynamic fight that sees Akainu put Whitebeard through one of the grittier moments in the manga. 9 Ace vs Blackbeard. Acting as the catalyst for the war above and several other moments in the One Piece story, the fight between Portka's D Ace and Blackbeard Marshal D Teach is both a pivotal moment and a well choreographed fight. Ace has been hunting down Blackbeard throughout the series up until this point, wanting to punish him for murdering Whitebeard's third division captain, Thatch, and betraying the Whitebeard pirates. Blackbeard reveals that he did it to take the darkness darkness fruit away from Thatch, launching his own long-running plot for pirate supremacy. From here, the two begin a fight that tears up an entire town. Dot. 8 Cyborg Frankie vs Senor Pink. This one really snuck up on fans. Who knew that Oda could even make people feel for man in babyware and a speedo? And what initially seemed like an offhand fight became one of the major highlights of the Dressrosa arc, as Aichiro Oda really showed off what it means to be hard boiled. Despite how they look, Frankie and Senor Pink are both stoic tough characters. After firing an onslaught of missiles and bullets at the evasive land swimming of Senor Pink, Frankie decides to bring the fight to pure physical action. While both deal incredibly dramatic attacks, the major highlight is the middle of the fight, as Senor Pink sinks to a flashback of his lost love and child, the very essence of his baby demeanor and hard-boiled nature. Number 7 Rurano Azoro vs Mr. One Da's Bones. Taking on the bounty hunting organization that is Baroque Works, Zaro goes one on one with the organization's one assailant and hallmark bounty hunter, Da's Bones. While Zaro has been building up sword fighting skills up until this point, he hasn't quite fought off someone as versatile as Da's, who has eaten the dice dice fruit, allowing him to turn any part of his body into a blade which subsequently makes his entire body into steel, a real stepping stone for Zoro's cutting ability. What follows is an over-the-top fight that sees the two chop up buildings like vegetables and each other like buildings. 6 Luffy vs Mr. Zero Sir Crocodile. Perhaps even greater than Zoro's fight during the arc, was Luffy's conclusive battle against the 80 million bounty man of Baroque works, Sir Crocodile. Crocodile has been plotting to usurp the Alabaster regime and has launched an entire conspiracy to create civil war. Monkey D. Luffy tries to stop him in protection of his newfound ally, Princess Nefertari Vivi, and the good of the entire kingdom. It's Luffy's biggest battle yet, as he faces off against one of the seven warlords of the sea and a greater master of their own devil fruit. This fight sees Luffy's first loss, an evolution of devil fruits, and Crocodile getting straight up punched through a city and into the sky. 5. The Straw Hat Pirates vs A Pacifista. Despite what some people may think, the Straw Hats don't often fight together, which makes the few that they do harrowing experiences, as is the case with their introduction to the Pacifista. A newfound technology by the world government, pacifistas are pirate hunting cyborgs designed after the warlord Bartholomew Kuma and equipped with enough technology to value a battleship. They're super strong, 
have pirate-seeking targeting systems and destructive lasers coming out of their mouths. This battle pushes the Straw Hats to their absolute limit, as each one uses some of their best moves to take down just one of the world government's robot army. 4. Luffy vs. Usopp. There are few fights in One Piece, let alone in the entirety of a nine, that feel as close and personal as the infighting between Luffy and Usopp. Luffy made the executive decision to do away with the beloved going merry and find a newer ship, much to the disgruntlement of Usopp. Not only was the going merry a present from his hometown and first love Kaya, but the seemingly blasé decision to throw out the ship seems like a calling card for Usopp himself to later be replaced. What ensues is the heart-shattering breakup of a family as Luffy and Usopp come to deathly blows to the horror of the rest of the Straw Hats. It's a hard one to watch and to miss. Yes. Kaku bringing things back to the lighter side of the fight scene spectrum, One Piece reaches a fight that not only elevates its chief swordsman, but encapsulates the unique balance of spectacle and humor that only One Piece can achieve. During the Ennis lobby arc, the Straw Hats are hunting down different members of CP9 to get a hand of any of the one keys that can free a chained Nyko Robin. Zoro's responsibility is to take on Kaku, a secret assassin, master of the Rakushiki martial arts and four sword style, and a giraffe man. Surprisingly enough, that last bit turns out to be the most dangerous, as they come to a fight that is equal parts epic as it is hilarious. Please, do not underestimate the power of a giraffe. <laughs> Drama and conflict of a person's V for freedom as it comes to beings of absolute justice. One Luffy vs. Katakuri as Luffy tries to rescue Sanji from Whole Cake Island, he comes face to face with someone that he deemed his greatest test for advancing as a pirate, Charlotte Katakuri, someone whose devil fruit not only mirrors Luffy's but also carries a heightened form of observation hockey that lets him see into the future. This fight sees an incredible rise for Luffy as he battles a seemingly indomitable force overmatch him blow for blow as well as a battle of philosophy as both fights for their respective families. It's an amazing fight in the manga, and a major upset for the animation, that is definitely worth any fan going out of their way to see.